All right. Uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, inheritance and, and uh, con contrast it against composition. Okay? Uh, and we'll see that uh, some some of the uh, same things you can uh, you can achieve with either one. Right. And perhaps we'd like to see why would you use one over the other. Right? In both cases, uh, we um, you know these these uh, techniques are basically trying to achieve the um, uh, you know what all our techniques are trying to achieve. Right. Is, is to be able to, um, uh, to deal with complexity. Yes, we like to be able to break out, break up something that is uh, large, right, difficult to, to deal with, and we like to break it out uh, so that perhaps uh, you work on one piece and I work on some other piece, uh, that uh, we like to promote reusability, right? So it's, if, there's, if there's something already that I built that has tests that I know that it works, uh, if, if there's some way that I can reuse that, that I don't have to reinvent the wheel, well, the, the better. Right, that uh, if, I, if I can rely on something uh, that, um, that already has been proven, it'd be great if I can, I can build on that, perhaps as a, as a Lego piece right, that I can put together and build something that's even more complex. Right? Uh, so, so yeah, all these techniques are trying to deal with the same thing, right? complexity. <coughs> yes? uh, there's just so much that we can uh, uh, put in, uh, stuff in our brains. Uh, so we, you know, we, we're, we lay it out uh, graphically and, you know, and we, uh, we, we divide and conquer. Right? And, and so that we can, we can, only, we can only deal with so much uh, details at once. Right? So we, we, we either create hierarchies of, uh, uh, of inheritance where we have some very generic concepts and then we uh, iteratively create more and more specific versions of that. Right? So might, we might have perhaps a base version of an employee, yes? Uh, and and we, we describe, we, we encapsulate everything about all employees Right, all employees have a first name, a last name. They all have a social security number. They all pay taxes. Uh, you know, everybody um, you know has a salary, maybe a, a, a date when they started, right? Uh, date of birth and whatnot. So all, all these kinds of things we put in one single place, and then and then we, we we start creating different versions of that employee, right? There's folks that are full-time employees, right? Some of them are, uh, right? Um, you, know, you know, they they get a commission, right? They get paid differently, or maybe they. They work by the hour, so there's all sorts of different different employees that uh, uh, I like to reuse all the stuff, right? They all have all these things that are common. I don't want to have to rebuild that, yes. So instead, I inherit from from uh, from this base uh, employee, and I just I, I just I just I, I don't want to <coughs> you know, I want to inherit the stuff that is the same for all employees, but then override those things that are might be slightly different for this specific employee, yes. So we call that you know. Uh, creating uh, more specialization. Right? We, we, we start with something more generic, and then we make uh, in, um, you know, incremental specializations of that. Of that uh, we have different names for, for each one of these. We say that there's a, a base class, and then we have a whole bunch of derived class. We say that there's a parent class. <coughs> excuse me. There's a parent class from which children inherit from their parents. Right? So we have all, all these analogies to, to try to understand the relationship between these different classes. Yes? Right. Uh, so, so it's definitely a great feature. Inheritance is a great feature. Uh, we just have to be careful. We have to be careful how we use it. And we're just going to point out uh, certain, certain perils, uh, certain things that might go wrong uh, if, you, if you're not careful and understand how inheritance works. Right? That, uh, um, that uh, might actually, uh, inheritance is this great feature, might actually work against you. And so we just want to point out some of these things. And, and we'll want to look at some alternative solutions. Right? And in particular, we're going to look at composition as an alternative solution. It says that perhaps inheritance is not always the solution. Right? Instead, uh, instead of inheriting and using an is a relationship, instead we, we might consider a has a relationship, right? where instead of being, uh, being some, some, spe some special case of an employee, you know, I, 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 I instantiate the employee. And I, and I can then, uh, instead of overriding, I just impl implement, uh, I, I use the base implementation, but then I add my own implementation uh, as a composition as opposed to as an override of the, of the parent. So, so, yeah, so let's take a look at, at, uh, at the perils of inheritance. Right? Uh, as always, I mean, all our examples start with a trivial data type, yes? Uh, and, um, and, and see that uh, you know, even with such a simple and trivial example, we'll see that we're going to paint ourselves into a corner. Right? And again, it'll be, it's simple enough that we can uh, discuss it here in an hour and a half. Uh, but nevertheless, 
uh, we'll see that that even in this trivial example, we'll see that we can there's a there are there are challenges, right? And if if it's challenging in something so trivial, just imagine on something uh, that might be much more complex, right? Uh, so so again, let's uh, uh we'll start off with a with a toy uh, example. Uh, in particular, we'll we'll look at uh, integer sets. Int set. Right? It's a it's a you know it's a set of integers. Right? Uh, that uh, <coughs> right? it's just like what it sounds. Uh, it's just a collection of integers that I, I'm going to be able to add an integer. I can remove an integer. I can ask whether that integer is in that set. Yes. Right. And we'll look at we'll we'll, uh, we'll iterate over multiple versions of that of that uh, uh, interface. Yes. And, and also look at various various uh, different types of implementations. And and and, and we're going to deliberately use inheritance. Right, we're going to have uh, multiple implementations just inherit from the previous one. Yes, uh, and and we're going to point out that oh, careful, look what its behavior is, right? And we're going to say that's not what you expected, right? It's not behaving the way you expected, right? Uh, well, that's actually what inheritance. That's how inheritance actually works. And if you if you didn't know any better, right? You would you would you would find out that inheritance is actually not behaving the way you expected. So you have to know about these these uh, pitfalls, yeah, and just be aware of them and how you would get around them. <coughs> All right, so, so let's look at, uh, uh, at a set of integers, um, a trivial example. So, so here is the, uh, the, the, um, uh, our interface, right? It's a, it's a set of integers, just like it sounds. Um, I like to be able to add a single integer, or if, if I have a whole bunch of integers, I, I maybe I have a, an add all, integer that I can pass in a whole bunch of integers. Uh, notice that that we are deliberately um, uh, having two func two methods here uh, that uh, are, you, know, you, might have, you might say, well, why not just have just one add and have an int dot dot dot, right? Because one is really <laughs> encapsulated with the other, yes? Uh, so, so this example is deliberately um, uh, uh, made unnecessarily complex. <coughs> uh, we have two adds, one as just a single integer, whereas the other one can add any number of integers. Also just one integer, <laughs> right? Uh, so yeah, so one adds just a single integer, the other one can add any number of integers. Uh, and and we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna look at these two. These are the ones that we're gonna focus on and, and to point out what the perils are, all right? So just, you know, just, uh, just look at those two, all right? The other two, um, you know, just removes an integer. The other one asks whether a, a particular integer is in the set. Um, uh, those two, we're not going to change the implementation, right? Uh, so it would be great to be able to just inherit from that. You know, this is my parent inherited, my base implementation inherited. Um, I don't want to just re-implement it. I want to blindly inherit them, yes? Whereas the other two, depending on the implementation, Perhaps I want to have different versions of how you implement it, right? So, so we'll point out uh, these uh, these decisions, these implementation decisions as we go along, right? Uh, okay, so here's my first implementation. Here's my very first implementation. Uh, we have uh, int set one, right? Which is uh, which is implementing my interface. Uh, for my implementation, we are deciding to use the Java a data type called <coughs> set, right? That's my interface. Uh, and it has a specific uh, concrete class called the hash set, right? The hash set. Um, and, uh, and here are uh, my two implementations. Notice I have, I have add, right? I have add that uh, allows me to add a single integer. Uh, which says, does a set dot add, and then it adds it to the to the to the set. Yeah, it's trivial, it's simple. And notice I have also add all. Yes, add all takes any number of integers. Now here I have two ways to implement this. I have two ways. Right, one way is to iterate over the array of values, and then for each. For each value i that I'm iterating over, I could call set dot add sub i, right? Right here, I could have said set dot add sub i. I could have done that, 
But notice that the that the uh, that the um, uh, the owner of this class, you know, correctly decided to instead say, so, "Wait a minute! I already have that implemented, right? I already have that implemented somewhere in my in my class. Let me let me reuse that, right? And they and they and they correctly decided to reuse add. See that? That's a very sensible decision. That's a sensible <coughs> design decision, right? You know, uh, that, that is the correct choice. Make sense? So they were, so they, they refused to duplicate the code. And that is the correct decision to make. All right, excellent. We'll come back to this in a minute. Right, we'll come back to this in a minute. Um, remove and member, right? Uh, remove and member. Again, they're trivial, right? They're, they're reusing the dot remove and the dot contains that are already implemented in the set Right, in the hash hash uh, set uh, concrete class, right? so we're just reusing that, no problem. We're in, um, we're going to be focusing on uh, mostly in the in the next couple of implementations of uh, of re-implementing. You know, we're going to inherit from inset one in a minute. Right? We're going to inherit, and we're going to say, "Ooh, I want to re-implement add and add all." Yes, uh, because maybe I want to add some new feature, perhaps, right? Uh, and uh, but these two, I'm going to leave alone. Right? I don't want to re-implement them. And so inherit by inheriting, I'm just going to inherit the implementation, and I blindly, I'm okay with my parents' implementation. I'm going to leave them alone. Whereas uh, I'm, I'm going to want to re-implement this in a minute, right? And I'm just going to override right, my parents' implementation, right? and this is going to be our focus of our discussion, right? Okay. All right. Excellent. Um, all right, so so as a so I'm great. I'm happy with this inset. I'm, I've been using it for a while. Yes, uh, 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 there's a client that was already using this uh, this implementation. So ideally, I would not mock around with the interface, right? The interface is that those four four fun, four methods. Yes, and 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 because somebody's already compiling, I guess that interface, I cannot change the interface. I can change the implementation. Okay. As long as I maintain the feature and the behavior, right, I'm free to do whatever I want my implementation, right? But the interface is locked. Nobody can change that interface. All right, excellent. Uh, somebody comes along, you know, sometime later, and they say, "Well, I want a new version of this of this uh, of this data model uh, because I need to keep track of you know, every time I add an element to my set, I need to keep track of how many." Times I've added, you know how many times I've added, right? It's some you know bogus uh, requirement, right? Need somebody needs to be needs to count, you know how many times this is you know maybe this is a inventory system, and every time I scan, I need to make sure that all these packages are coming into the uh, into this inventory system. Yes, and I need to keep track of these things coming in. I'm trying to map it to some <laughs> real, uh, real, uh, uh, real life um, uh, thing, right? Uh, but nevertheless, I need to keep track of uh, this inventory of these things coming into my data my data warehouse. Uh, so, so I can't change the original interface, right? Because some folks are already already uh, compiling against it. Yes, uh, but we know that we can extend it, right? We said that we discourage modifications, but we encourage extension. And there it is. We have our instrument set instrument inset. We want to be able to count. Right, how many times I, I add to my set. So we have this additional get add count. How many times have I added something to my set? Yes? Uh, and I'm extending in set because I, I still want to be able to add, at all, remove, and contains, right, or belongs, whatever we call it. Yes? I still want that, that feature. Uh, so I'm inheriting from in set, and, and I'm declaring my, my new interface. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this at all. Uh, so somebody says, "Okay, well, fine. I have my interface. Let's. I want to implement this interface. <coughs> I want to implement this interface." Uh, and and so you know, you know, them talking to the the whole team, uh, they realize, "Oh, wait. There's already, right, There's already an implementation of the child of the parent uh, interface, right? There's there's already inset." And somebody already implemented inset one, right? That has all those all those methods already implemented, right? Has add 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 all contains uh, remove. They're already implemented, right? 
And so my, our logical thing would be that I only have just an additional method that needs to be implemented. You know, why bother re-implementing all the other methods if I only just have this additional method? I can just reuse them. Yes? I can just, uh, uh, just reuse them. Uh, and uh, uh, some of them, will, uh, I can reuse them blindly, like, like, uh, uh, like add, um, uh, uh, contains, right? Or, or what's it called? I forget the number. Member, yeah, member, right? That one I'm going to blindly um, uh, uh, um, inherit. Whereas instead, my strategy might be that every time, you know, the only the only change I might want to do with add and add all would be because I need to count. What I might want to do as an implementation, I might say, well, every time I call add, well, I don't want to re-implement. I'm just going to use my parents' version. I'm just going to I'm going to increment a counter. Yes, that means sensical. Uh, so with that with that notion in mind, uh, somebody might go in and say, "All right, fine. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm going to for my implementation, I'm going to inherit everything in set one implemented, with the add, the add all, the member, the remove. Right? I don't want to reinvent the wheel. It's a very sensible uh, design decision, uh, and I'm going to implement my new interface, which extends from my from my parent interface, right? So I'm inheriting all those, all those methods. Yes, uh, and ideally, I can just focus on my new get add count, right? I implement it. I say my I'm going to have this counter every time I'm going to increment this plus one plus one plus one every time I add <coughs> one trivial, right? And here's my my trivial implementation. Again, very sensical uh, decision here, and. Um, uh, notice the implementation of, of add. Notice what add does, right? Uh, I, I, what I do is, um, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to re-implement my, my parent. I'm going to do whatever my parent does. I'm just going to say, hey, parent, add this integer to however you add it. I don't know. right? Maybe you use a hash table, hash, hash map. You decide. You know, I'm not going to uh, challenge my parent. Uh, it says, OK, super that add. Uh, and after that, I'm going to I'm going to increase my count. That's a very sensible decision to implement. Um, and at all, same thing, right? At all, I'm just going to pass a whole bunch of integers. What? How do you how do you do that? Well, that's your business, right? Uh, you, you're going to iterate over them, whatever. Do do whatever you need to do. Okay. What I'm what I'm going to do is that in my app count, I'm going to increment it by the length of whatever you're passing. Again, a very sensible decision. There's nothing wrong with any of these decisions, okay? But there's something wrong with this code, right? What's wrong with this code? Right? It's not immediately obvious what's wrong with this code. <coughs> yes. Exactly, right? So, so this is, here we're overriding uh, our, our parents' app, right? So we are assuming in the first one that the, the add all of our parent this is going to use the the ad of our parent, right? We don't know that, right? Presumably, we have we, we might even have access to the code, right? And in, in, uh, in, which is one of the weaknesses here, right? That I have access to the code and the implementation of my parent, and not quite understanding how the inheritance works here, uh, I might you know have made these local decisions, right? And not being aware of what the global uh, um, repercussions might be, right? So if I if so I, I run some tests right I'm running some tests and, and I'm, I'm, I'm testing my add all and I'm expecting that if I add these three numbers right that indeed my count should be three but when I when I when I look at it right it's coming back at six I says what it says uh, uh, where you know, so somehow these are being double counted right why are they being double counted so so. You know, I, I, I meet with my team and, and, and we start debugging this. We put some breakpoints in different places and, and a last we realize that, that uh, you know, as, as I follow, right, I realize that you know, as, I, as this is ex, a, a, a running, this ad count, this ad all, uh, before I get to my ad count, before I get to my ad count, this ad count gets called. Right? And it increments it by one. Right? And then when I get to mine, I then add all the other ones. So it's, it's like, wait, how did I get here? How do I get to this uh, this lower ad count? So 
you know, once, so graphically they, they, they start laying out what's really happening, right, and it says, okay, well, I have my, my overwritten <coughs> version here, right, of add all, that's, uh, it's, uh, it's reusing the parent's add all, right, and so, yes, the super dot add is correctly calling the parent's add all, right, that's, that's correct, uh, and notice the implementation in here that says for i in values, yes? And notice that the ad, it's calling the add here. See that? It's calling the add. Our first uh, gut uh, feeling of how this would work is that we would have expected that it would be using the parent's ad. Right? The parent's ad. You know, we naively thought that, but you know, it would have been uh, something sensible. Uh, and and, and would have been calling add. You know, it, it, uh, it, so, so the uh, addition would have happened only once, right? Uh, as opposed to multiple times. But it turns out that it's not actually using the parent add. Instead, it's uh, because we have an overwritten of add, our child is overwriting the, the, uh, the parent add, the, the uh, adult is indeed instead gonna be using our overwritten version, right? Instead, this is what's happening, right? Yes? We did Yeah, it, it, uh, I'm sorry, say that again? Instead of writing, like, when you loop through all the values, instead of writing add i, yep. this dot add i, would it refer to its own admin instead of our chat? No, but, but the, the, this instance is the one below, right? Yeah, always the, it's the same instance that it's over uh, uh, inheriting from the parent, right? So it's still, it's still the, the one down below. Right? Yep. But somehow this would be, have to be static and say, uh, you know, the name of the class, the actual name of the class that you want, dot, and then the one you really want to call, right? So, so that you can uh, guarantee which one. Uh, so, so you know, oh my goodness, right? We, we, went, we, we went through this, we stepped through this, and it says, oh, okay, so I see what my parent did, right? My parent is using that one, and then it's coming down to this one. All right, so, so it's, it, it's, uh, it's invoking it twice, right? Uh, so as a child that is inheriting from this, looking at this implementation, I can compensate, right? I can, I can I can take that into account uh, of, of understanding how my parent behaves, right, or and how the inheritance works, and then I can compensate. I can change my source code, knowing of what's going on, right. And and in fact, I, I, I go through here and I say, okay, well, I know I know how the the uh, the you know this plumbing is going to come back to me at adding. So fine, I'll I'll just not, not double count, right. I'll just uh, uh, I'll just come back and. Uh, compensate for my for the sins of my parents. 